Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm going to be checking out Fantasy for the Intellivision. Now this is a this is a homebrew, obviously. It's not a game that's from the past. Uh, even though it looks like a Coleco title, if you were to compare it to the Donkey Kong box. Now the only difference is that Donkey Kong, when it came out, didn't really look like Donkey Kong. I mean, it, it kind of did. It kind of played like it. But it lacked in so many areas. The music was off. The, you know, it, it's it's not... I love this version of it because I grew up with it. But, I mean, compa uh, as a game, I mean, it, it kind of failed in a really big way. Uh, but this one, you know, having the Coleco look to it seems like a game that probably could have come out around the time. The thing is, though, this one is so true to the arcade. Actually plays very... and looks similar to the arcade. And has some extra stuff in there. Um, like voice features. You can actually uh, run this through your IntelliVoice, which I'm going to do, and play it with voice. Uh, also has a great looking manual, nice full color manual. The the earlier Coleco uh, games on the Intellivision, uh, I believe they were like mono color, like uh, green or something. Uh, but this one actually came with a really nice manual, a lot of great pictures. Um, but yeah, I, I was surprised that this game was still available. Um, through homebrew inc and uh, i was glad uh, i was able to pick one up uh, i'm going to leave a link below if you're interested in this game uh, you could still buy one um, you could just send an email to homebrew inc at hotmail.com and they can hook you up with this game anyways i'm going to play it because it's fun it's challenging um, there's a lot to it and we're going to get to the game now okay so now i got the game booted up you can see we have a nice attractive start screen here um, I'm pretty certain the arcade looks identical to that on the on its own start screen You got our characters. That's Tom there, and there's uh, I think her name is pronounced cherry or sherry. I'm not sure um, But yeah, they're they're right there, and you pretty much just go to the first screen here um, You get to choose your lives. So you got three lives six lives nine lives I'm gonna go with nine lives because this game can be pretty brutal at times um I'm, I'm not lying about that. This game does take some time and skill. Um, and the other thing is you have an option for voices. So if you don't have the IntelliVoice hooked up, uh, you can actually go with basic voices, which don't require the IntelliVoice. It's not as uh, clear sounding, but it's actually pretty decent for something that doesn't require any added help. The IntelliVoice obviously is the best route to go if you have the IntelliVoice. So um, probably probably uh, worthwhile to pick one up if you don't if you are planning on getting this game anyways uh, so let's go with the nine you? lives I'm fine. Thank you. okay so Tom just got in his uh, balloon first thing is to go to the uh, pirate ship now, I have to admit when I first started playing this game I got hit a lot by that cannon is it like just like that it goes fast you got to be quick you got to pay attention to its patterns Whoa. so you just got to land on on the appropriate spot then you get to the next level now it does have this credit for I was trying to figure out if there's a way to actually use that to continue the game I didn't find any way but maybe there is maybe there's some hidden way of doing it but I it doesn't give you the options I was thinking maybe it's just there because it's on the arcade and just for aesthetics or something, but I'm not really sure. So now we have to kill these pirates, and you gotta be careful about the cannon again. Uh, as you can see, it's shooting right there. The good thing is that the cannon does take a break in shots, so it's not like firing continuously, um, that it gives you enough time. Now this area here, because we are playing on a wider screen, uh, like in the arcade, it's there's a little bit more room to get through this area here, um, but you know it's it's a TV and we have to we have to accept that this is on an Intellivision, not an arcade system. Um, so you gotta really be careful here. Like you gotta, I find you, you see I just got hit again. I was stuck on this for a, a, a little while when I first started playing this game, uh, but you gotta have to inch over and be ready to move out of the first blast like that and there we go and then going down same idea just got to avoid that cannon shot then we get to the next area 
and then the bird steals your uh, woman again. I am playing this on a long play controller, which does help a little bit uh, for movement. But this game is still tough. So you gotta watch out for those birds. It's like a scrolling, don't hit anything type of um, game. Sort of like uh, games like Tropical Trouble and uh, even Flappy Bird is kind of like this. Oh, that bird just came right at me. You see, I'm already down to, uh, I've only got five lives now, so. <laughs> Let's go. I've already lost quite a few lives. Watch out for Kong. Um, not exactly Donkey Kong himself, but a reasonable facsimile. Oh, that one bird. Let's go. And the music is quite spot on to, oh geez. Uh, I didn't do this bad before. Let's go. The music is quite spot on when I uh, heard the arcade version. I don't know which bird that was that just keeps hitting me there. Some come from below, some are coming from above. Of course that Kong guy likes to hit himself with his own coconuts. You just gotta not hit them. Oh, I knew I was gonna lose there. Let's go. Of course, that's the Intellivoice working its way. <laughs> okay, we're at the end now. So this kind of reminds me of, um, this level kind of reminds me of the game uh, Kangaroo. Although you're, you're really, you can't jump like in Kangaroo, but it does give you that feel. Where you kind of have to climb up, sort of in a Donkey Kong style. Oh, I just got hit by a, just got hit by something, I think. It's like an apple, like throwing apples at you. Just gotta get all the way up. And it's tricky here because you can't touch that baboon thing. So you, gotta, you gotta be fast. Oh, the end. That's why I say you gotta... You gotta play... You? I'm fine, thank you. You gotta play with the nine lives in this game. That's what happens when you complete that round. Okay, so then now we're advancing on. Let's go. So this one you have to dodge that uh, tiger guy. <laughs> and then some crazy thing flies out at you. So this this level really did remind me of like Tropical Trouble. Um, if you've ever played that game. Also a very uh, decent looking game. That's from Imagic. Uh, or iMagic, or however you pronounce it. Uh, they made some pretty great stuff back in the day. So those were, those were all official releases, too. I think most of the iMagic games are pretty, pretty impressive looking. Some of them are pretty tough. I mean, Tropical Trouble was pretty tough as well. This is the same idea. You just gotta get the, the, the patterns down and... Very similar to uh, the the last screen with the uh, or the previous screen with the air balloon and the bird coming at you. Gonna have to be careful. <laughs> if I 
saying if you learn the patterns and don't uh, don't stray from them. <laughs> I kind of wish there was like a, oh geez, an indicator of how far we've gone. Uh, just so you know how close you are to the end. Let's go. There we are. Help me! So now we have to kill these natives guys. <laughs> Once you kill enough of them, it'll tell you you have to go and save the girl who's uh, right now strapped to that post. Help me! Similar to the game um, Tutankham, on the, uh, where you can only attack from the right or the left, you can't attack up and down, unfortunately. Oh! Guy came right in front of me. Help me! Oh. See, I always think I'm going to be able to attack him by going up, but you can't. You can only attack, use your sword going right and left. Uh, as you see, when he walks, the sword is in front of him. So you have to, like, get around him. And attack him from the sides. I don't know if I could touch that flaming fire thing, so I'm not going to try. Okay, so the arrow just appeared, so now we can go. Some helicopter comes out. Helicopter comes out of nowhere and takes her away. Now you have to dodge the helicopters. Oops. Forgot if you push the button, you just get the status screen. That ain't gonna do much for me. Clouds have that concerned look. Oh. Darn near blew me up. Ah, no, no. <laughs> Let's go. touch the water. That would be bad. These uh, helicopters move really sporadic. It's like they, they just fly at you. Yeah, so that was fantasy for the Intellivision. I could only get through half of the game. That's how tough it is. I'm sure if I keep playing it, I'm going to get a lot better. But it took me a while to even just get to that point. So if you're looking for a game with a great challenge, I would pick this one up. Um, and the sound is great too. Love the love the Intellivoice part. If you don't have an Intellivoice, um, I would suggest picking one up. I mean, there's so many games that are great on the Intellivoice. Uh, that work with the Intellivoice, I should say, and some homebrews that work with it. So it's it's really neat game. Um, and it's the fact that it's it's as close to the arcade as you can get for a system like this. Um, you know, you just can't go wrong. Anyways, let me know what you think. Tell me if you've played this game, how far you can get. Because I even when I was playing it before I did my video, um, the furthest I think I got was like an extra level beyond what I just reached. So I got a lot of work to do, a lot of playing to do, and, uh, you know, I'm going to have me some fun. Anyways, let me know what you think. Throw some comments down below. Have you played this before? How far have you gotten? Can you beat it? I want to know. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.